Born into one of the most affluent aristocratic families, Diana Spencer owned some high quality jewellery. Prior to her marriage to Prince Charles, she often wore a gold Cartier Russian wedding ring of three yellow gold bands on the little finger of her right hand and a diamond and white gold eternity ring from her family's collection. She also wore her family's signet ring. She would wear this in combination with the other rings. For her 16th birthday, her friends gifted her gold initial D necklace. On her 18th birthday, Diana was given a triple strand pearl choker by the Spencer family. It consisted of three rows of pearls with a turquoise and pearl cluster clasp. The clasp was sometimes hidden at the back. The princess later altered the clasp to all pearls. The princess wore very little jewellery at her wedding. She wore diamond earrings that belonged to her mother, Frances Shand Kidd. She also wore her Spencer family tiara, her engagement ring and a wedding band placed on her finger by Charles at the ceremony. Frances Shand Kidd's Diamond Earrings on her wedding day, Diana borrowed her mother's diamond earrings, which consist of a central pear-shaped diamond surrounded by around 50 smaller diamonds. The Spencer Family Tiara The tiara includes diamonds in silver settings, mounted in gold in various floral shapes, styled tulips, star-shaped flowers and scrolling foliage. While Diana's mother-in-law, Queen Elizabeth, loaned her the Queen Mary's Lover's Knot tiara for her big day, the princess-to-be decided to stick to her family roots and wore the Spencer tiara. Diana frequently wore this piece as it was supposedly lighter and easier to wear than the other tiaras at her disposal. Even so, she said it gave her a cracking headache. Queen Mary's Lover's Knot Tiara. In 1913, Garrod and Co. were asked by Queen Mary to make a replica of a tiara owned by her grandmother, Princess Augusta of Hesse Cassel. The tiara, in its French neoclassical design, has 19 oriental pearls suspended from lover's knot bows, each centred with a large brilliant diamond. Mary left the tiara to Queen Elizabeth, who later gave it to Diana in 1981. Diana complained about the swinging pearls but she wore it at most of her tiara events. On her divorce from Prince Charles, it was returned to the Queen. Queen Mary's Diamond and Emerald Choker Made from a present of emeralds and diamonds from the Ladies of India, this Art Deco Choker was created by Garrod in 1921 for Queen Mary, given as a wedding gift to Diana from the Queen, who inherited the piece from her grandmother. It was worn as a bandeau in Melbourne and often worn as a choker to other events. The Prince of Wales presented his wife with a diamond and emerald Art Deco bracelet as a wedding present and matching emerald earrings as a 22nd birthday gift. The Diamond and Sapphire Choker This was created from a ring and watch from the princess's Saudi Arabian Sapphire and Diamond Suite which was a present from the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. The Seven Strand Pearl and Sapphire Choker 
as a wedding present from Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, was a large oval sapphire and diamond brooch. The princess had the sapphire brooch converted into the clasp for a magnificent seven-strand pearl choker. This was one of the rare big jewels from her marriage that Diana continued to wear after her divorce. The Four Rod Japanese Pearl Chalker. This piece was given to Diana as a loan from the Queen. The princess first wore this chalker during a state visit to the Netherlands in November 1982. The chalker contains four rows of Japanese cultured pearls with a central diamond clasp. The Grey Pearl Necklace This necklace made up of large dark grey and natural pearls made by London jeweller Leo de Vrumen was gifted to the princess in 1985 by Prince Charles. It appeared in public only twice. The Engraved Gold Pendant Following the birth of Prince William, Charles presented his wife with a gold pendant that had their son's name engraved on it. In Charles's distinctive handwriting, Diana often wore this pendant in private, but only wore it in public while at a polo match at Windsor. The Heart-Shaped Diamond Necklace Following the birth of Prince William, the Prince of Wales presented his wife with a necklace made of seed pearls with a diamond set heart in the centre. The Swan Lake Necklace Created by Garrard & Co and made out of 187 diamonds and 5 South Sea pearls the necklace was worn by Diana during an appearance at a performance of Swan Lake by the English National Ballet two months before her death in 1997. The necklace was created together with a set of earrings. The necklace was sold to a Ukrainian couple in 2010 who put it on sale in 2017. It sold for £12 million. The 11 Strand Pearl Chalker Made out of 900 pearls paired with columns of diamonds and rubies, this 11 Strand Chalker was one of Diana's favourite pieces, which she often wore at theatre and film premieres. The King Faisal of Saudi Arabia Necklace A gift from the King of Saudi Arabia to Queen Elizabeth II. It is a fringe necklace in design and set with brilliant and baguette cut diamonds. Diana's Engagement Ring her engagement ring consisted of 14 diamonds surrounding a 12-carat oval blue Ceylon sapphire set in 18-carat white gold. Diana's selection of this ring was considered unusual. It was neither custom-made nor unique and was at the time of her engagement to Charles featured in Garrett's jewellery collection and available for anyone to purchase. Diana selected it because it reminded her of her mother's engagement ring. Diana continued to wear the ring even after her divorce. The King Khaled of Saudi Arabia Necklace this necklace was given to Queen Elizabeth in 1979. It is of a sunray design and contains both round and pear-shaped diamonds. The Queen often lent this piece to Diana. The Tell Me Yes Ring 
On the 30th of August 1997, Dordi Fayed purchased an engagement ring from a boutique in Monte Carlo. It is believed he died before he could give it to Diana. It was recovered from Dordi's flat after the couple's death, along with a receipt listing an engagement ring. The Bulgaria Diamond Band a £3,000 Bulgarian yellow gold band. The diamond band set in yellow gold was not an engagement ring and was worn on the fourth finger of her right hand where her butler Paul Beryl advised her to wear it. She wore it as a friendship ring. The Sapphire Kubishon ring the princess wore a Sapphire Kubishon ring during a Christmas photo shoot in 1982 with Prince Charles and their new son, Prince William. It is unknown why she never wore it in public. Some speculate it belonged to another member of the family and she wore it to protect her son from getting scratched by her engagement ring while taking photos. The Signet Ring The princess wore a signet ring with the Prince of Wales's feather which had been a gift from Prince Charles. It had been given to the princess the night before her wedding along with a note that read Just look him in the eye and knock him dead. The Aquamarine Ring an emerald cut aquamarine flanked by small solitaire diamonds set in 24 carat gold. It was commissioned by the princess from Asprey in 1997 and was used as a replacement for her engagement ring after her divorce. The diamond and emerald drop earrings given to the princess from Charles as a gift for her 22nd birthday. The earrings consisting of pear-shaped emerald stones suspended on a diamond drop chain set in platinum. The earrings dated from the 20s and originally belonged to Queen Mary. The Sapphire Earrings Originally part of the Saudi suite and a match for her engagement ring, Diana wore these sapphire earrings, both in the form of double drop earrings and studs. The Diamond and South Sea Pearl Earrings Featuring a circular design of diamonds, and a single diamond encrusted pair. These dangling earrings were worn by Diana at numerous occasions in the 90s. The Collingwood Pearl Earrings This pair of earrings was given to Diana as a wedding present from her husband. The earrings were created by the Collingwood Jewelers and worn by Diana at different outings and engagements. They are now under the possession of Princess Diana's daughter-in-law, the Duchess of Cambridge. Aquamarine and Diamond Earrings First worn by Diana at the 1987 Cannes Film Festival, the earrings were made out of a whopping pear-shaped aquamarine surrounded by diamonds and suspended from a diamond flower cluster. The Gravel Pear Drop Earrings Alongside 60 other pieces of jewellery, Margaret Gravel left Queen Elizabeth, later the Queen Mother, a set of pear drop earrings that she had bought from Cartier in 1938. The earrings had been made using family stones. The pear-shaped drop diamonds each weigh about 20 carats, that's 4 grams. 
Diana borrowed them in 1983 to wear on her first official visit to Australia. At her state banquet, she wore the earrings paired with the Spencer family tiara. The Prince of Wales' feathered diamond brooch. On her wedding day, Diana was given a brooch by the Queen Mother as a wedding present. The brooch shows the Prince of Wales' feather and was often worn by the princess on a diamond tennis necklace with a Kubishon emerald drop. The badge of the royal family, Order of Queen Elizabeth II. The royal family order is an honour presented to female members of the British royal family by the monarch. The order is worn on formal occasions and is pinned to the dress of the recipient on the left shoulder. It depicts a young Queen Elizabeth II in evening gown, wearing the ribbon and star of the Order of the Garter. The Butler and Wilson Snake Brooch The princess had a large collection of costume jewellery made by one of her favourite jewellers. Butler and Wilson, in her vast collection, was the snake brooch. The seven row pearl bracelet. This seven row pearl bracelet with vertical bar spaces was worn by the princess at a Victoria and Albert Museum exhibition in 1981. The princess was photographed falling asleep here and subsequent photographs were dubbed the Sleeping Beauty. The Gold Cable Link Bracelet On the 27th of February 1981, before her marriage, the future princess was asked by schoolboy Nicholas Hardy, May I kiss the hand of my future queen? After giving her a daffodil during her visit to Cheltenham, photographs of him kissing her hand were all over the papers and he became the first person to kiss her hand in public. The Cartier Watch Diana possessed an 18 carat yellow gold tank Louis Cartier watch, which was a gift from her late father, John Spencer, who died in 1992 when William and Harry visited Kensington Palace after her death. To choose a keepsake from her possessions, William picked this watch and Harry her engagement ring. Years later, they switched their mementos. This piece now belongs to Meghan Markle. The Saudi Arabian Sapphire and Diamond Bracelet and Watch. As a wedding gift, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia gave the princess a suite of diamond and sapphire jewellery including this bracelet and watch. The Gold Charm Bracelet Diana did not often wear this piece in public, which was a wedding gift from her husband. Each year on their anniversary, he gave her a different charm to add. The bracelet included a miniature of St. Paul's Cathedral, where the couple were married, a pair of ballet shoes, as Diana loved the ballet, a polo cap representing her husband's love of the sport, a bear, as Diana loved teddy bears, an apple that symbolised her fondness of New York, and a pig. Two other charms with the engravings W and H were given to her by the prince when their two sons were born. The Three Strand Pearl Bracelet This bracelet is made out of three rows of pearls with diamond and pearl spaces and clasp. 
The piece now belongs to the Duchess of Cambridge. The Two Stoned Gold Cuff Bracelet During an official engagement at the Lord Gage Centre for Old People, a nursing home run by the Guinness Partnership in 1990, Diana wore a gold cuff bracelet which featured two blue stones in its centre. The piece has been worn by Diana's daughter-in-law, Meghan Markle, at numerous occasions following her marriage to Prince Harry. The Double Crescent Bracelet Created back in 1944, Diana was seen wearing the bracelet during the auction of her outfits in New York in 1997. The piece is made out of 18 carat gold and platinum set with 137 round diamonds and its interlocking seas derived from the cipher of Diana, the Roman goddess of the hunt. The Children's Caring Cross on the 24th of April 1991, Diana visited a hostel for abandoned children at her FEBEM Foundation for Child Welfare in Brazil. She was extensively photographed wearing a cross and chain with the children at the hospital at her side. This cross and chain was donated by the princess for a charity auction which was to take place in September 1997 but it was put into storage for 20 years and then sold to a young Austrian collector. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.